Ominous clouds out there. Yeah, and just this low pressure system that lingers and lingers and lingers, and Dave is out in the middle of it, this latest powerful storm that's bashing the East Coast for a third straight day. Dave is in Cape May, New Jersey this morning. What's it like where you are? Good morning, Dave. Good morning to you, Harry. You know, just about a month ago, they were doing weddings on this beach. And now, as you look off the shoreline to that water, they're mourning the loss of those whose lives were taken by these waters. The Coast Guard called off the search for three North Carolina men whose fishing boat sank 20 miles offshore here on Cape May. Officials say there's no reasonable chance of finding them alive. They deployed the rescue swimmer into the water who swam over to the life raft. He did not find anyone in or around the life raft. Off New York's Long Island, a novice surfer died when killer waves pounded him into a rocky jetty. In North Carolina, it was the wicked winds that proved deadly, toppling a tree onto an elderly man. And three motorists died in storm-related crashes in hardest-hit Virginia, where the governor has declared a state of emergency because of unprecedented flooding. I've never had my house surrounded to where I had to actually get on a boat and load my family up on a boat and, and actually go out like that. All right, now, Harry, you talked about it at the top of the show. There's that low pressure system sitting off of Cape Hatteras on a high over New England. It's not allowing the storm to move. The system is struggling to move northward or eastward. They've received upwards of a foot of rain in North Carolina and Virginia, the Delmarva Peninsula getting pounded now, and then up to New York's Long Island and southern New England. Watch for coastal flooding, beach erosion, and a treacherous surf. That's what we're going to be keeping our eye on over the next 24 hours. Richmond got over three and a half inches. Norfolk, four point seven yesterday Newport News up to half a foot with 30 to 50 mile per hour winds and an unrelenting an unrelenting beating right along the beaches. We're watching for tidal and back bay flooding. Our, now, of course, we also have the nation's weather to talk about, so let's do that right now. We are expecting another two inches right along the coastline here, an inch as you head northwards and 12 to 20 foot seas. In the rest of the uh, nation, well, in the south, things look beautiful. Deep south is gorgeous. Miami in the low 70s, northern plains, a chilly rain. Central Rockies, watch for snow and more over the weekend. And again, the southwest is nice, with the northwest seeing some gray skies and more showers rolling in. That's a quick look at our national map and a look at this nor'easter. Here's an early look at what's going on in your area. That's a quick look at your weather. We'll have more from the Jersey Shore in just a little while. We'll send it back to uh, both of you in New York.